Hello everyone, my name is Josh. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and in today's video we are going to be sharing with you guys our experience buying with DR Horton. So as far as the backstory goes, we started looking for a new home in December of 2021 and at that time we had a town home that we were living in and we were happy with the area but we just wanted to have a little bit extra space. Also there were some issues currently going on with the HOA such as the roofing uh, that wasn't covered by the HOA among other problems and we won't get into too much in this video because this is about our DR Horton home buying experience. So we were looking for we were looking for homes, not necessarily a new one, but one that was a single family home. And what we found with the market conditions is that prices during this time in late 2021, early 2022, prices were rising very rapidly. And in each time that a home hit the market, it was very much a seller's market at that time because there were multiple offers on each house. So each house we found that there were 10 to 15 offers on each house. And a lot of these offers were thousands of dollars over asking price. So let me just give you guys an example. I'm sure a lot of you actually experienced this. At one point we actually put an offer, I believe it was $10,000 over asking price on a certain home that we really love. We loved the area. However, we later found out that we were beat by someone who bid on the house $50,000 over asking price and we thought our offer was very competitive, but we got beat uh, by a pretty large margin. So as Josh said, this was back in 2022, last year, so the market was crazy, especially here in Florida. That's why we decided to buy a new house. Why? Because when you buy a new house, especially last year, you didn't have the crazy things that were going on, like in old houses, like you have 10 or 20 offers and going above the price. So with the new construction, you were getting the price. Once you were able to lock that price, that was the only price and you were getting that house. So that's basically why we decided to go with new construction. Yes, that was very advantageous of that. So what we, who we ended up going with was Deere Horton because there was not a bidding process. Now there were some other new home construction that we realized they did actually have a bidding process, but we stayed away from those companies. We ended up going with uh, Deere Horton in the end. So we were looking at a few different communities in our area where Deere Horton was building. However, ultimately we ended up going with one community because they're, uh, the the model that we were looking at getting was actually the only one that was going to be available within a reasonable period of time yes we want to start with the benefits the pros of buying a new construction which with and they are horton so first the first benefit on why we stick to new construction and with them was that everything was new we didn't have to fix anything and everything was like new features the way we like it the way we want it so that's one of the pros we found buying new construction with them the other benefit because of the condition of the market as we said the prices were not as bad as uh, all houses because even though the asking price was not that high let's say four hundred thousand was the asking price since there were 10 or 20 offers they were going above the asking price so for us it was an advantage getting a new construction that we were not going to be beating the price with other people and trying to get the house so the prices in this case with dear horton were lower than a house that we saw and pretty much the house had the same features it was like three years older that house but because of the competition we were having that, those moments, the Air, the Air Horton had like a lower price at that point. Yeah, we're looking at many of the used homes in the market. For instance, like a 2,000 square foot house might have been going for $4,000, but you could get a brand new house that's never been lived in before and it would be the same exact square feet and it would either be the same price or even a little bit lower. So in that case, it just made a whole lot more sense to go with a brand new home lived in. Everything is renovated. You have a new roof. You won't have to worry about upgrading or getting a new roof within the, you know, the 20 years of having the house. You won't need a new AC unit. You won't have to worry about the water heater. Also, a lot of these things are under warranty as well. So it was hugely advantageous for us uh, to go with the new home. Yeah, another advantage that we found was that our HOA in the community we were living was going very high, uh, mainly because they were in charge of the grass, water, garbage and everything. So in the new community that we were going to move, the HOA was lower. So that was another advantage we found with this new construction. 
-hmm. Obviously, that will depend on the community that you're moving into, and that will be different for your case, maybe. So basically, what the best pro was that everything is new. AC unit is new, so you don't have to worry about that. And the roof is new, you won't have to worry about that, like at least for 10 or 15 years. What, what, that was one of the main advantages. Um, but now we are going to go with the bad things of working with Dr. Dear Horton. Mm -hmm. There were several things we didn't like with them, so we're going to go over them. And of course, with any new home, there always can be something that uh, happens later down the line that's troubling, uh, depending on like the foundation or anything else. So far, it hasn't been too bad. There was a pipe that got bursted, but they took care of that pretty well. And we had a, so far, we have a pretty good uh, superintendent uh, who takes care of everything or anything that we do have troubles, at least during the first year. Now, where we had the biggest troubles with Deer Horton, um, I believe, is pretty much like the communication within their team. We actually ended up getting the loan from Deer Horton, kind of like their company, it was called DHI Mortgage. And the communication between Deer Horton sales team selling the house and DHI Mortgage was not very good. For example, as we mentioned earlier, we did have the townhome that originally we wanted to just rent to have a little bit of passive income and then have a mortgage for this. But later down the line, we decided it would be best in our best interest to just go ahead and sell the townhome um, sell the town home and use those proceeds towards the house. Now, originally uh, the, the sales team said there would be no problem. And even people in DHI mortgage said it would be no problem that you could sell the house. It was still going to be months before our house was finished. So they said like, no rush, it's completely fine. What, are, what do we have here is good. And keep in mind to lock in the rate we also had to put down I believe it was around uh, a, a significant amount, around twenty thousand mm dollars. -hmm. But then later on down the line, they said, "Whoa, why don't you have this amount of money in your account to put down uh, your upfront deposit and everything like that?" We said, "Well, you told us originally that we didn't have to sell the house until we we're able to, um, either until we were able to lock in the rate." So the, the story kind of changed, and then eventually they were like, "Oh, you have to sell this house by this weekend." Keep in mind, it was like Wednesday, and they were wanting to, us to have the proceeds in our account from the sale of the house by the weekend or they would move on from us, they would close from us and say that we're no longer eligible for it and then would go to the next person on the wait list. And then eventually they were they forced us into selling to a third party company and they gave us just like one option. I forget what the company was. Um, ultimately we ended up going with Open Door. We'll give another video on our experience selling our house to Open Door down the line. And just overall, we didn't like how the process worked. Of course, this could be much of the same with any new home builder. Uh, for example, the, the houses at the time before we were able to lock in the price, they were much lower, but by the time we were able to lock in the price, they, it went up thousands of dollars more. We felt that maybe it was like a stalling tactic because they saw the, the prices in the market were going up very high. And I guess we couldn't lock in the price until they got to phase three. Whether or not they were stalling, I'm not sure if they were actually stalling. I don't want to say for sure they were, but in our minds, it just felt like the process was dragging on and on. And we had to therefore pay thousands of dollars more for the house uh, by the time we were able to actually lock in the price. Yes, yeah, so for me, it was basically the communication. There was a lack of communication between the seller and the lender. Again, we went with their lender because it, usually they will offer you ten thousand dollars through their closing costs so they if you go with their lender that's the reason why we decided to go with their lender however the first time we bought our house everything went smooth with the lender we used and this time it was completely different sometimes they were saying as one thing as Josh said uh, they told us that we can we can have enough time to sell our house and then suddenly they said no We need you to have the house sold by this time which put us in a very bad situation because We knew that we were wanting to sell the house, but we needed time to prepare the move and everything So that was one of the things we didn't like um, the lack of communication and also you have the lender of Dear Horton and you have the seller. So the lender was telling us something that there's no problem that we can sell the house by this time. And then the seller of the house was calling us and saying, no, you need to send, sell the house by this a weekend. We need to have a proof that the house is going to be sold. 
So that for us was a too much trouble. And remember, we didn't even know when they were going to give us a new house because these, they wanted us to sell the house and they wanted to have a proof that our house was going to be sold. However, they didn't give us a date when we were going to be able to move. So we were in a very tight situation. The whole process for me was chaotic and there was a lack of communication between the seller and the person at sales and the person at the lending company. And at the end, this person ended up quitting, so we had a new person, right? Right, yeah. It seemed like someone new was taking um, charge like every other day, it seemed like. Um, and as Michelle said, the communication was not very good, uh, to say the least. And anytime we actually wanted to talk with anyone within DHI, they weren't giving us like the contact number. They were sort of giving us the runaround. And we did not feel all that included in their conversations. We didn't really know what was going on. It was just a very confusing process. So we did not like their communications. Uh, as far as far once again with the the home buying process, um, as we were saying before, um, the the prices kept going up, and finally we were able to lock in the price. I believe it was around February of 2022, and we ended up having to pay thousands of dollars more than what they were going for at that time. So we were a little disappointed in that. And then at that point, we could not lock in our rate until the house was actually completed. So we were waiting for the house to be completed. Now, keep in mind from February all the way through late July, when we were able to finally lock in the rate, of course, the interest rates kept going higher and higher each every month because inflation was very high. So the Fed was trying to deal with that by raising rates. So we ended up having to pay a much higher rate. That's not necessarily uh, Dear Horton's fault because it's not they don't control what the interest rates are going to be but it was just it just made our home buying process a little bit more difficult um, overall yeah and um, another thing we were not trusting the people anymore because as we told you before first they gave us an answer that we can sell our house uh, anytime and then they wanted the house to be sold by this time so everything they were telling us for us it was like is this are they trying to lie, lie to us or what? For example, first we, um, you had to, because of how the market was before, you had to go on a waiting list for the house. So we had a house closer to the pool in the first stage of the community. And that was the house that we were supposed to get. However, one day we received a call from the seller, from the person in sales, letting us know that uh, the prices are going high and high so if we want to and they they are not completing a stage three because to lock the price they had to finish to be on, in stage three so this house was taking longer and they told us like we have another house because the prices were going high and the interest rates were going high so we were feeling very sad and um, he told us but i have another home and this house is in another stage so it was farther away from the pool, it was in another, it was farther from the community areas. But we decided to stay with that house because it was almost um, getting to stage three, so we were going to be able to lock the rate. But we started looking the first house for 401,000 and this one was 406,000 or something like that, the one that we were able to lock. So at that point, we didn't know if they were just lying to us and they wanted to sell that house that we were wanting before at a higher price to other people. But it was like at the point that we didn't trust the seller and everything he was telling us, we were not sure if they were just wanting to take advantage of the situation, how the market was and just keep increasing the prices, keep bringing more people. And I think I feel that that way. So I never trusted the seller anymore. Yeah, with all the communication that seemed like they were having troubles um, kind of getting on the same page within Dear Horton, we weren't really too sure what would happen in the end. I guess our greatest fear is that we would end up selling our town home and uh, we'd have the contract signed there, giving over to another company or another person, and then Dior Horton would just completely back out and say that you guys are no longer eligible for this contract, and then we would end up homeless or stuck in a position where we'd have to go rent somewhere 
um, and that would obviously put us in a very uh, difficult spot. Um, ultimately, we it did end up going through. It wasn't exactly smooth, but we got through it in the end. Not exactly the ideal situation either because we felt that we probably could have gotten more from our town home by selling it on the market versus selling it to Open Door. We actually got a pretty decent offer from Open Door, I feel like, um, but uh, that's for another video, of course. All in all, though, we are pretty happy with the home so far. There haven't been any major flaws to the home. Anytime there is any flaws, we can reach out to the superintendent within the first year and he comes over. He's very good about fixing it. That, of course, could vary community by community, but our uh, superintendent of the house um, has been very good and we're very happy where we are. Would we go with D.R. Horton once again if we were to buy another new home? In my opinion, I probably would not. I'm not sure about you but overall i guess we are um you know pretty happy when yeah i agree with uh, josh the process was very bad like for the loan and everything so it was like a pain it was like a headache and i prefer like even though they give you like ten thousand dollars towards the closing costs i would prefer getting a better lender just because it will be easier on you and you won't be struggling like with them telling you one thing and then telling you another thing especially if you have to sell a house to get an other house that you will get and if in our case we were lucky because some of our neighbors they said that they were supposed to have the house ready by um, March and they ended up moving in in April or months after so in our case they told us that around July they didn't give us a date but by the end of July, we were able to move to our new house. But if I will go with them, no, as I said, no with the, no with the lender. And the only person I think has been good here is the superintendent, as Josh said. We had an issue with, the, with our toilet, with a pipe. It seems like um, a nail was in the pipe, but he fixed it right away. So the superintendent is really good. And that was our experience back in 2022 when the market was crazy i don't know what the policies are now because we know that the houses um the interest rates are going higher so less people are buying homes so maybe this has changed but that was our experience here in florida um i don't want to give the name of the seller but uh, in my opinion he was not really good with us because he was not honest and he was not trustworthy yes and just to wrap up this video for anyone who is still watching it at this point very grateful if you are uh, it's been a little bit of a longer video but uh, just a, a tip if you are still wa watching and you're wanting to buy a new home whether it's with Deere Horton or any other company one thing I would definitely recommend is to uh, reach out to other lending companies and see what types of rates they're going to offer you as uh, compared to a DHI and see what your payment might be with one lending company versus uh, uh, DHI or Deere Horton's lending company and see if you can get a lower rate and then you can come back to even you can come back to DHI Deere Horton's lending company and then you can see if they can even match that rate which then you can get that same rate and then you can have the uh, money towards your closing costs but on that note, we are going to go ahead and wrap up this video. We definitely hope that you enjoyed. If you did, we would definitely appreciate if you would give this video a like, subscribe to our channel if you have not already, and we will see you guys in the next video. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.